Hey everybody, Digger coming at you with an electronics update. Let's show you what we what we have to install on this uh, school bus. Okay everybody, so what this video is about is what kind of electronics are you going to put in the back of your bus build? You know, do you want amps on your subwoofers, amps on your higher speakers? Do you want uh, power inverter to power 110 volt stuff. You know, what is it you want? Where are you going to run your LED lights? What, how are you going to switch the LED lights on and off? You know, there's all kinds of things to consider when you're dealing with the electronics on uh, one of these party bus builds. So right here, I'm going to kind of show you and uh, I'm going to show you what uh, Will has brought us to install in this bus. And I'm also going to get a little bit more in detail as far as you know what parts I'm using and why and everything like that so uh, let's go check some stuff out and the first thing I'm gonna tell you is the piece of wood that everything is sitting on right behind me that is actually the piece that's gonna go in the bus so everything will get mounted to that board and then when it's time I can just put that board up in there shoot some screws to it or make it make it hinge maybe I don't know but this piece of wood that tells me how how much area I have to work with in the back of that bus. Let's show you what we got going on. There's a lot of stuff. All right, so one of the big things we're going to end up uh, installing, he has bought basically like a semi-truck type. Uh, this is four cameras to mount on the outside of the bus, and it's got a big monitor where, you know, you can actually see everything, you know, live. So we have to install that, and that's going to be its own little project. We'll videotape that stuff. And these are the dome lights that I'm going to install in this. Little flat little LEDs. I've got a whole box full of those there. And then the uh, this is the switch box that we're going to install. So each one of the switches will control different LED lights and such like that. You've got uh, a power port. A, cigarette lighter style power port on one side got a dual usb on the other side and a voltmeter in the middle so that will be installed and this is the radio that he's chosen which basically it looks it's a din one but it looks like a tablet so that that should be interesting i've not installed one of those before and then you get to the amp board this is where everything's going to be mounted now this is going to be this will be the bottom and this is going to be standing upright this way but we've got the the main power on off switch right here we've got some fuses some uh um i don't know what you call it a little blocks power blocks but he has supplied a 3500 uh, modified sine wave inverter and this is the amp for the rear speakers this is the amp for everything else so he wants to amp all the speakers well usually i only amp the subwoofers but he wants to amplify the highs also so the highs and the mids they're going to be amplified and if we come over here we'll show you the box of goodies that he brought he brought some really cool speakers i have company all right, so I had company come over, had to stop for a second, but he has supplied all of these speakers, all those speakers, and the tweeters for, it. we're gonna have a lot of speakers in this thing. So uh, we've even got little bass controls and everything so that you can remote control the bass. And then I have all this stuff, which is where the dome lights are gonna be mounted. Those are the old dome lights that are removed out of it. And uh, then the other thing is all of the LEDs that we're going to put in it. I've got a bunch of stuff right there already. Extension cords and everything. i got all kinds of good extension cords down in here. And uh, all my other miscellaneous LED stuff. Speaker wiring. But this is all stuff that people don't think about when they're uh, building a bus. And the best thing you can do is get out some tables or lay it all out and everything find out what you got get a little method of 
how are you going to do this? What are you going to do first? How are you going to route that? You know, and everything. So that's, you know, stuff you got to think about. Just a little addition here. I, uh, I have this. We're going to use this in this bus. This is two rolls of um, black Formica. They're four by eight sheets. So that's what any of the countertop area or anything like that in that bus will be done with black Formica. And that'll be pretty nice. Another thing you want to check into whenever you're buying a TV that you plan on using in a bus is that one right there. It's got a headphone jack, which means we can run a big old extension cable from the TV to the back of the head unit. And then when you go to auxiliary on the head unit, you will hear whatever's coming out of the TV. So definitely a nice option to have. Not all flat screen TVs actually have a headphone jack, so something to look for when you're buying the TV. And another nice little option I see on this one, it has audio video in. With that, that means any old DVD player or PlayStation, or whatever, you can hook it up to that. A lot of them don't have, everything's going to HDMI now, so a lot of them don't have this stuff anymore. I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is, I'm going to show you a little bit more about this uh, camera kit that he brought. Notice it does come with monitor and four cameras, which two of them are in, still in the bag here, but uh, let's see if I can dig them out. Two of them are supposed to be, dang it. two of them are really fancy. This stuff is all aluminum. There's no plastic on this. But this is a full kit with cameras and all to put in that bus. This is the monitor. Guys, this monitor, this thing's thick and it's actually got some weight to it. I'm sure that's a quality monitor. So that's that's uh, going to help him figure out where all the other traffic is while he's driving down the road. Here's something about the switch panel. Like I said before, uh, you've got you know the six switches across the front. You've got a cigarette style, cigarette lighter style port, the voltage gauge, and then over here you have uh, notice there's a one amp and a 2.1 on the chargers there. But the neat thing about these, you can get these things on Amazon and they're not expensive. But the neat thing about these is that they completely come pre-wired with fuses so it just kind of makes life a lot easier when you're going to hook up all the wires uh, it's kind of like hooking up speaker wires on a car stereo pretty simple stuff so look into one of those on eBay if you're building a bus or on Amazon actually eBay has them too but on uh, I don't know I think uh, I want to say I only paid like $27 or something for this that's a lot for the money so it's definitely a good thing to have if you're going to start building a bus they have all kinds of different base plates and different designs different types of switches and everything so there's there's a lot of stuff a lot of different options out there so if you're going to be building pick you up one of those it makes all your LED lights and stuff much easier now a little bit more on these. These are uh, LED dome lights. They, I, it's, I don't think it's, yeah, I guess maybe it is metal. I think they actually are aluminum. But uh, all you have to do is cut a hole, pop these in. They've got these little tabs that lock it in. So install on these is very easy. Hook up positive and negative, and that's your dome lights. Got a whole box of them right there. Now when it comes to powering everything in the back of your bus, you want to have a master switch up in the front that the driver can, can get a hold of. That way if things go crazy in the back and the driver needs everybody's attention, he can just flip a switch and it kills the radio, the TV, 
I mean, the lights, it shuts the entire back end down, which is also really nice for uh, when you're working on, you know, cleaning the bus and stuff like that. But uh, this is a, what's called, now a lot of people will think that that's a Ford starter solenoid. It is not. Do not use a Ford starter solenoid. This is a golf cart solenoid. They look about the same and they do the same thing, but the, the Ford starter solenoids are meant for a large burst for a short time. Large burst, short time. These are made for the big burst for a long time. So you can flip these on from the front, powers up everything in the back. You can run that bus all night long, not have to worry about power going out or anything. And these are very simple to hook up, very simple to activate. And uh, so everything, when my main power comes in, it's going to run to this first. There'll be a few other things on the input side, like the memory for the, uh, for the stereo, you know. So very little, though, will be off of the, this side. This will come straight off the batteries. And then you run from this side off to one of the junction blocks. And then you can split your power off to the other things. All these are one of these, and it doesn't matter which one. One of these posts goes to ground. One of them goes to a switched positive, or you can actually hook up a positive straight to it and do a negative trip, a negative switch. Just depends on what you want, but definitely do not use a Ford starter solenoid. Okay, so hopefully that little video, I know it kind of jumped around a little bit here and there, but hopefully that video kind of gives you an idea of the things you need to consider before you even start building on a bus. That stuff should you need to purchase everything that you know you're going to put in the bus before you start building the bus because just like the school bus and the back wall with the tv you need to build your bus to fit the parts now i know that sounds backwards you would think you'd build the bus and then you know put in whatever you wanted but it's better if you can build the bus to fit the parts that you already have that way then everything's fully custom, you know everything fits right, won't be any problems or anything like that when you take everything apart, because everything I've done in that bus, it's gotta all come back out. But um, then you can take everything apart and you know it'll go back together right. So hopefully this, this video you know, will help you out on making your plans for building your party bus. So hope everybody has a good day. Remember, the party starts here. Kind of it starts in the garage. <laughs> we will catch you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a happy day. Digger is out. And hey, YouTubers, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button, maybe even that little ding ding bell thing. That way you get updated and you know what's going on right after I do it. So uh, tune in, there's more to come. Party starts here. <laughs>